409 on your hometown station, KHTS. Yesenia is a spiritual medium. She's got an event coming up, an intimate evening with spiritual medium Yesenia Berbiar at the Higher Regency coming up next month, Sunday, June 23rd. And Yesen- Yesenia joins me in studio right now. Yesenia, how are you? I'm doing great, Aaron. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Are you, are you losing your voice a little bit? I just got over bronchitis. Really? Yeah. You're not contagious, are you? No, Jerry, what are you doing bringing her into uh, the, the, the the studio? She might be a little bit no, contagious. Now you, have now you have to move over. Your mic is on, Jerry, if you want to get on the mic. Okay. Jerry uh, is the station owner here at KHTS. She is the one who introduced me to Yesenia, who's got an event coming up again next month, Sunday, June 23rd, at the Hyatt Regency. Let's just start right here. How does the whole how does the whole spiritual medium thing work? Are you able to get a read on everyone you meet, or are some people a little more available than others? Uh, some are more available than others. It depends if they have an open heart and open mind. It's very easy for their loved ones to come through. Right, because it does take a willingness from that person to be able to be open to yes. something like this, right? Absolutely. Can you tell just by meeting somebody that they're open or not? Yes. Really? Yeah. How long does it take you for you to get a read? Is it an immediate thing? Do you have to converse with the person a little bit, get a feel for them? So typically I like to ask for permission from their spirits or their loved ones. And once I get that permission granted, then yes, go ahead and just... Once that permission's granted, everybody and even animals come by and start talking to me. Really? It's wonderful. Yes. Like old pets? Yes. Wow. And so what is it? Is it like you see a spirit or you hear a spirit or is it just kind of all the senses are uh, active for you? All senses. I dream readings before the reading. Um, the spirits come and visit me. Um, I also feel. I get to feel a lot of what the person died of. Um, and so they, they just love to explain everything. And then the dogs come in and they tell me who they belong to and how long they've been gone. And it's just wonderful. So I feel, see, hear, and um, anything else. Yes. We're talking to Yesenia Berbiar, who's a spiritual medium. She's got an event coming up next month, Sunday, June 23rd, at the High Regency, an intimate evening with spiritual medium Yesenia Berbiar. How many people are we expecting at this event? 130. So it's not really intimate. Or, or is, is, is it going to be like you're giving a seminar and then you're going to form a single file line and give individual oh. readings? What's going to happen at the event? Okay. So what I wanted to do is open everybody up to the ability because everybody has that ability to be able to speak to their loved ones. And so it's very important for me, and that's exactly what I do here is help the person heal here and also help the soul in heaven heal as well. So part of that intimate reading is going to be talking about uh, my experiences, how I became or how, when I was, how old I was when I started seeing spirits. And then um, depending on whose loved one is stronger, they'll come through and they'll point me out to the person that needs the reading the most. What age were you when you started seeing these spirits? Oh, my God. Um, the earliest recollection, I was three years old. Uh -huh. I definitely started speaking to my dad when he passed away and I was seven. Okay. Who did you see at three? At three, I want to say it was my great-great-grandmother. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you were speaking with her? Absolutely. So do you ever meet someone and, and you immediately just think back to yourself, I've, I've seen this person before, and yes. then, oh, I've seen this person in a dream before? Yes. Yes. Really? How often does that happen? Um, not very often, but when it does, you know it. So say, for instance, my grandson, the moment he was born, I knew he was my son from another life. Really? Yes. Why? Really? Yes. Absolutely. That's that's crazy to me. That that's that's crazy to me. And Jerry is in here. She said you were nervous. I think she was nervous. What I was going to ask you, Jerry, were you nervous? No, no, not at all. Not but at all. I had the privilege of having a reading on um, Monday this week, and I was blown away. Are you able to do research beforehand? Because say say you go to a party with Jerry and some of Jerry's friends, and you know who's going to be at the party. Are you allowed to look them up on Facebook, kind of get a feel for them beforehand, or no? Can I speak? Yeah. Because she had stuff that no one would have known. Really? No what did she... One in can particular... You, can you... Yeah, I'll share. Um, my mom died of cancer 11 years ago. And she was saying how my mom was kind of showing up but not showing up. Mm -hmm. And that was my mom. She didn't want to die. Right. I mean, and that was one of many, many things that, okay. was, that blew my mind. So I wanted to ask you about this because I was reading the paper of, and uh, we're talking to Yesenia, who's a spiritual medium. She's got an event coming up next month, June 23rd. It's a Sunday starting at 5, 530 at the Hyatt Regency in Valencia. 
And, okay, so I was reading the paper today, and I saw last night that this guy Ashton Kutcher, you know Ashton Kutcher, the yes. actor, famous Hollywood hot stuff, tech investor. Did you know this guy's yeah. worth like hundreds of millions of dollars? He's been on Shark Tank. He's crazy. Yeah, Shark Tank. He's not, a, that's unfair to me, how good looking he is. He shouldn't be able to. You're just as good you're looking. You're just, yeah, I was uh, going to say, yeah, you're thank just you. as good looking. Thank you. Um, that's what my, that's what my grandma says. Uh, okay. So this guy's testifying in court because I guess in 2001, he was going to pick up this woman for a date, right? They're going to get drink, dinner, drinks, the whole deal. He goes to her house, picks her up, or he, he was going to pick her up. He calls her like 10 times. No answer. He goes to the front door, knocks on her door. No answer there. He peeks inside the window. He doesn't see anything. Turns out the woman was murdered, like ax murdered. So yesterday he was testifying in court about uh, what happened, you know, in 2001. And I was just wondering, could you be brought into a courtroom as part of like a criminal uh, uh, investigation? Could you tap into something there? Have you ever been brought into a, a criminal investigation like that? Wow, okay, so interesting you, you ask about that. Um, 17 years ago, there was a house that was haunted here in Santa Clarita, and I had no clue, no address, no anything. But when I got to the house, I was able, um, because the spirit told me exactly what had happened, and we were really able to um, hone in as to how the person died, um, and it was actually her dog who turned on her and, you know, and killed her. And so oh. it was very interesting. Um, and so that family and I are families now. I mean, we just, I stay with them through the whole process, the whole grieving process. So yes, in regards to your question, I would be able to go into a courthouse, and I, I could tell you right off the bat whether you're lying or not. Right. The spirit will most likely come and tell me the whole story. Whether they would believe me or whether it would hold up in court, that's another thing. Right, exactly. It's like one of those uh, – one of those. Uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm looking for? When A lie detector machine. Yes. Like, you know, it, it could be useful, but it doesn't necessarily prove guilt or innocence. Right, that mediums have been brought in to solve several cases. I mean, it's – I'm sure. Yeah. So you also do, you, you noted on it right now, uh, you do investigations. Say if a house is haunted, if there's ghouls inside, how do you get rid of them? Are you just able to identify them? Are you able to eradicate the, the, the spirits from the building? Do you try to negotiate with them? How does that work? I do. Well, I first try and find out how the person died. If it was a tragic death then I definitely want to do some healing with that person, right? Because they're still, they're still a person to me, right? right? And so once I create and I start healing the person and I show them the way to heaven and how it's so much easier and healthier for them to be there, um, they tend to just go on their way. Mm -hmm. All they need is attention. They need the love. They need the respect, most importantly. So you don't just walk into a house and start taunting um, ghosts. Um, we had we went to Ireland. We went to this um, haunted mansion, and it was Ross Castle. And it was interesting because they purposely put me in a room where it was like a meat, like a meat room where they had the dead bodies. Oh! And it was yes, it was the only time I've ever slept with my clothes on on vacation. <laughs> and so we had a séance and immediately picked up on the whole family that had been murdered in that house. Oh my God! Yes. And so there were kids and there were parents. And so we had names and we talked about it. And I told them, if I find your tomb and if I bring you flowers, do you promise to go to heaven? And they said yes. So believe it or not, the following day, they were taking us to some ruins. And right across from the ruins, there was a cemetery and a little church, a ruined church. And instead of going to the ruins that everybody wanted me to go to, I, I had picked up flowers on the way there, mm -hmm. wild flowers. And I went onto the cemetery and we found the tombstones and they had been broken in half. I said my piece and I was able to sleep in the room perfectly fine. My husband and I were just great after that. Crazy. So, in order to get a reading, you can't just do it over the phone, right? You have to be in person there w with them, right? Not necessarily. Really? No. Yeah. I've been able to do readings all across the United States. Um, I do readings for people in Florida. I've done readings for people as far uh, away as um, Thailand. Um, so yeah, it doesn't matter. What matters is the spirit. And when that spirit comes to see me and I can make that connection, then everything is possible. We're talking with Yesenia, the spiritual medium who has an event coming up next month, June 23rd at the Hyatt Regency. Let's talk about the event. Uh, it's an intimate evening with spiritual medium Yesenia Berbiar. How many people are we expecting? You said 
Over 100, right? Over 100, yes. And is there a limit to how many people you can see in one night? Because I, I, I feel like it has to be exhausting. You know, the more people that you see, the more spirits you engage with, the more kind of uh, stories that you hear. I feel like it's got to it's gotta drain you, right? Not necessarily. Really? <laughs> I love it. You're not wiped out at the end of the night? No, I'm not. And you know why? Because everyone's energy that's in the everyone that's in the room, their energy helps fuel me. Right. And so that helps me. So the more I can help the person, the more they feel um, happier and, and I'm healing them, their vibration goes up. And once that happens, I get some of that in return as, as well. Will we be burning an incense during the uh, during the whole event? Will, will, the, will, will there be music being played? What's the what's the vibe? What's the mood yes. we're expecting? So my whole purpose is to be able to transform you into a very um, as close to heaven as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. um, so there will be music, and I can't tell you what kind of music, but there will be a special person there playing. Um, and then we're also going to have some vendors. So I love oil, so we're going to have doTERRA oil vendors and stones, and stones are very important to me as well. They're very healing. Um, and then you're going to have this intimate where you just know about me, and we talk like we're family, and I bring your loved ones through. And then after that, if you're part of the VIP, we get to socialize for an hour with cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Will stuff. you be going around the room uh, interacting with people, or will you be set up at a spot and, and individuals come up to you one by one? Oh, no, no. I'll be walking around the room. Yeah. Jerry, did you sign up for the VIP? You did? Of course. Well, if you'd like to join them at the Intimate Evening with Spiritual Medium, Yesenia Berbiar, it's taking place at the Hyatt Regency, coming up less than a month away, June 23rd. You can grab your tickets at eventbrite.com or visit Yesenia's website, healingheartshealingsouls.com. Yesenia, you'll be popping in, I think, even tomorrow. You'll be coming in multiple times, but I, uh, I believe you'll be back in tomorrow during the afternoon to promo the event. Again, info at eventbrite.com and or Yesenia's website, HealingHeartsHealingSouls.com. Thanks for coming in, Yesenia. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Thank you so much, Jerry. Thank you. <laughs> All right, 422 on your hometown station, KHTS. Time for a quick break. More music and traffic on the 8s coming up. 98.1 FM and 